Hi guys, in this video series we'll focus on short topics and tutorials to improve your flight skills and knowledge from the ground up. Wow, the night lighting in MSFS looks great, but what does it all represent? Let's have a look. First, we have our edge lighting which are used to outline just that, the edges of the runway. They are classified according to the intensity of the lights. If you've seen my airport diagrams video, I'll put a link at the end, you'll recognize these as Hurl and Merle on the 10-9 charts. These lights are white, except on runways with instrument approaches where the last 2,000 feet or half the runway, whichever is less, is replaced by yellow lights. I'm not sure if these yellow lights are modeled in the default scenery as I've not seen them when I was looking through JFK here. Marking the beginning and end of the runway are lights that emit red towards the runway and green away from the runway, so that departing aircraft can see the end of the runway in red, and arriving aircraft can see both the beginning of the runway, green lights, and the end, or the red lights, at the end of the runway. TDZ lights, if you are familiar with our charting series or touchdown zone lighting, consists of two rows on either side of the center line with steady white light bars that start 100 feet beyond the landing threshold and extend out 3,000 feet beyond that same point or the midpoint of the runway. Runway centerline lights are designed to allow you to quickly measure distance. Once you get used to an aircraft, you will know how much of the distance you need for a particular operation. First, on precision runways, they are spaced at 50-foot intervals. At the beginning of the landing threshold, these lights are white until the last 3,000 feet of the runway where they first change to an alternating red and white for the first 2,000 feet of that 3,000 foot section, and then to an all red for the last 1,000 feet of that last 3,000 foot section. Taxiway leadoff lights are depicted here, and I should mention that these lights are usually distinguished from the regular taxi lights when intruding on the runway by an alternating green and yellow light that would start here and end at the runway hold short position. This alternating color is designed to let taxiing aircraft clearly see that they are no longer on a taxiway and may be incurring onto a runway. I'm not sure if any of the scenery packages have these modeled correctly, but the simulator does not seem to have these correct. Runway lead on lights have the exact same configuration and designed to guide you obviously onto the runway from a taxiway. Taxiways are always outlined in blue and at larger airports may have a green center line as shown here. Never confuse these with the white runway edge lights and white centerline. Notice the displaced threshold on this runway has neither blue taxi lights nor white edge lighting. The displaced threshold edges are red to indicate to approaching planes that you cannot land on this portion of the runway. You can, however, start your takeoff roll here or roll into this portion of the runway when you are landing in the other direction. Notice our approach lighting system also that intrudes onto the displaced threshold here. Approach lights can be found in many different configurations and is a topic for another video. Here we see our runway indicators and taxi signs, and we also see our hold short for runway 31R light bar. Now I haven't seen it modeled anywhere yet, but keep in mind that there is another type of hold short found only at airports that have land hold short operations in place, which are lasso operations, and these would be white flashing lights extending across the runway so that when you were landing as a pilot and seeing a bar of white lights that stretch the width of the runway in front of you, you would have to hold short at that line. If you cross that line, you are crossing into another runway. There are also PAPI lights, or Precision Approach Path Indicator lights, but I've already done a video on those, so I will leave a link to that video at the end of this video. And with that, guys, I hope that I've provided you with a bit of light in regards to airport runway lighting systems. See you next time.